What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and one of the most secure anti-theft features that Apple has on the iPhone and the iPad is the iCloud activation lock feature. So this was introduced back in 2014 with iOS 7, and the purpose is simply to prevent others from wiping your device and putting their information on it. So if somebody steals your phone and you're still signed into iCloud, even if they take it back to their house and manually restore your device via DFU mode on their computer, they will still be hit with this activation lock screen where they need to put in the original owner's Apple ID and password. And I'm sure you've probably seen this screen before on your own personal device. Maybe you got sold a device with this and you were pretty much screwed because you didn't have the password. Well, you know, that was one of the bad things about this feature all along is that it just made third party selling of iPhones a nightmare for many years, especially when this was a newer feature and people were not as tech literate as they are today. This was also a big issue if you just simply forgot your Apple ID password because there'd really be no other way around this activation lock screen unless you talked with Apple support and proved that you bought the phone, which could take a long time to prove. This was also a big issue and pretty much a time waster for Apple employees as well. But now you can actually initiate the process yourself without needing to call up Apple support or setting up a Genius Bar appointment at the Apple store thanks to this new support page on Apple's website. So you can see here it shows how to remove activation lock. And if you go down a little bit, you'll see there is a new section right here that says start a support request. If you need help removing activation lock and have proof of purchase documentation, you can start an activation lock support request. And you can see it was just published here in February 2021. So if we tap on this right here, it will take us to this page right here. And I will have all this linked down in the description below as well. So just check the description for these links. And you can see it says request additional support for unlocking your device. Important things to know before you continue. So basically you just have to prove that you're the owner of the device and that you did not you know, steal the device. Apple just wants to make sure you did not steal this device and you're trying to pull a fast one on them. So you need to prove ownership by having the serial number, the IMEI number, and the MEID number. And then it says your data will be erased after you know removing the activation lock on the phone, and you cannot unlock a managed device. If your device is owned by a business or an education institution, please contact your IT department or manager. So they do not do that, and they also do not accept bulk requests. You can only do one phone at a time when doing this. And also your device must not be in lost mode as well. So once you have you know, looked over those things and you agree to everything, you just tap this agree box right here, then tap on continue. And this is where you actually get to the main screen that you're gonna want to you know, put your information into. So you put in your email right there, you put in the serial number, the IMEI number, the MEID number, and then you just put in the characters here from this capture at the bottom. And then once you hit continue, it will actually take you to a page and give you like a support number and it will get an email and then everything will take place after that and Apple will look through this and make sure you're actually, you know, the rightful owner. You provided all the documentation to prove that you are the rightful owner and then they will unlock, you know, your phone. You won't have the activation lock on your phone any longer. And of course, if you don't know where these numbers are, you can just tap on this and it will take you to a page to show you where these numbers are. But the problem with this is, is that your phone is most likely not able to go into settings general about. You're probably not able to do that because you're probably stuck on the activation lock screen. So that's why you actually need to see it on the box. So if you have your box, it will show those numbers on the box itself. So let me show you an example. So if you look on the back of your phone box, you will see these multiple barcodes right here and you will see all of these numbers right there. So that's where you'll find the IMEI number, the serial number, and all these different numbers, the MEID number, all those will be right there on the back of your iPhone or iPad's box. So if you're stuck there, and you don't know how to get those numbers, that is how you do it, it's on the box. And that is also another way you can prove that you are in fact the owner of the device and that's another reason also to only look for phones, you know, if you buy used on eBay, only look for phones that have the box with it. So yeah, guys, that is how you can remove the iCloud activation lock on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You no longer need to panic when you buy a used iPhone and it has the activation lock on it. You no longer need to spend hours on the phone with support or you know setting up appointments at the Genius Bar. It's now all done through a simple portal and through email making everybody's lives, especially Apple employees' lives, so much easier. And you don't have to worry about that near as much as you did in the past. And again, links for everything I talked about in this video are down in the description below. You can also get to this by simply just searching for you know how to turn off activation lock or how to disable activation lock on your iPhone. It should take you to Apple's website right here. But 
Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this quick tip with you because this did just get published by Apple just very recently. So I did want to cover this because I know a lot of people have asked me about this over the years. And it's always been a very tedious process where you basically have to call Apple and provide a bunch of documentation, receipts and things like that. But now you no longer need to do that. It's a lot more streamlined and a lot easier. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that if you ever see this screen in the future, you will remember this video and you will remember exactly how to tackle this issue and go about getting the activation lock removed from that used device. But anyways, again, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe for a lot more iPhone tips and tricks just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.